All right, I'm walking out of the 35th District Court in Plymouth. That's what's behind me there. And today I had two cases, uh, both assault and battery. And uh, one was charged by the Township of Canton, and that case was in front of Judge Giroux. And then the other case was in front of Judge Lowe, and that was charged by the Township of Plymouth. In both cases, uh, unfortunately, the actions that my clients made made them guilty both of assault and battery. But the good thing is, is that on both of their behalfs, I was able to negotiate to have each case dropped to a disorderly conduct, which would then save my clients money, and it'll also look good on a record. But in regards to that record, even that is gonna be dismissed. So neither one of my clients will end up having a criminal record at all. If they're ever asked, have you ever been convicted of a crime? The answer will be no. And if anyone looks up the case, it'll simply be dismissed. So in order to achieve that result, it's not a matter of just going in there and trying to get a good deal. You have to work the case up. I was able to show the prosecutor that his case does have some weaknesses. On top of that, we pushed the case towards trials. The prosecutor knew that if we have to try this case, even though it might be a dog, we'll still do it. They don't want to call the police officers in there. They don't want to have witnesses in there if they don't have to. So we went in there, and then finally today, both prosecutors agreed on each case to do disorderly conduct under advisement. These cases were totally unrelated. Um, one involved a fight outside of a Tim Hortons on Ford Road. The other involved a dispute in front of the Lafresh in Plymouth. 